It's been a great year thus far for Neo bag holders. However, today the price declined roughly 5% due to weak economic news that came out of China last night. Let's get into the article that explains a bit more of the specifics of the report. This article is coming from Investor Place. Why is NEO stock down today? Like many other NEO based EV names, NEO valuation has skyrocketed higher this year. NEO stock has more than doubled on a year to date basis. Today's decline of roughly 5% may have some scratching their heads. Uh, not really, right? I mean, you went from uh, $10. Uh, on July 20th to a high of 16 um, on August 4th so a pullback is warranted um, however a pullback of 5% um, in one day that's a bit of an extreme unfortunately today's move lower in NEO and other rivals including Xpeng and Li Auto appear to be due to weak economic data released uh, today. Now, what was the actual news coming out of China? Well, it involved exports in July declined more than expected amid weak global demand, while vehicle sales within the country also fell. You also had consumers. Retail sales of passenger cars in July slipped more than 2%, though retail sales of new energy cars were nearly up 32 percent. Now you might be scratching your heads because the numbers coming out of Neil's report for July show that it delivered 20,462 vehicles which represented an increase of over 100 percent year to day and the deliveries consisted of 14,000 premium smart electric SUVs, uh, 6,000 premium smart electric sedans, um, cumulative deliveries of Neo through July uh, exceeded 350,000 vehicles. So, you know, we just talked about the numbers, but last week's strong delivery numbers pointed to a potential for a strong showing during this week's release of economic indicators. However, weaker than expected export data, as well as some contrasting data around passenger car sales, have many Chinese EV companies trading lower today. All right, so we're going to get into the analysis. We're going to start with the monthly chart. And it is safe to say that uh, NEO has definitely bottomed. Um, now, I originally had a target at $6. I think we came within $1.50 of my target uh, before I was looking to load up on NEO. Um, and for the first time in a very long time, uh, NEO formed uh, a buyer's level at the $10 level. In this case, it formed weekly buyers um, at the $10 level. You had a, after bottoming out, you had a rally in price, a couple of basin candles, and then a rally out on a gap, right? So if price can get back to this level, this will be really, really huge to uh, back up the dump truck. All right. uh, for the bulls, it's important to note that price was range bound for a while before it broke down. Um, but the top of the range also happened to be uh, resistance, which was previously support. So in actuality, price is just kind of taking a chill pill, um, potentially before the next leg higher. Now, if I do look over to the left, um, I see a wick over wick. To me, that might be a level on the daily chart, a sell level, but we'll see in a minute. Um, let's see. So price hit a bottom of a seven dollars and five cents. So it missed my target by a dollar uh, five cents. Nevertheless, let's scroll down to the daily chart. And again, for the bulls. We have uh, established a golden cross. That's when the 50 crosses over the 200-day moving average. 
on, on the top of it. We also have uh, bullish momentum moving averages um, that have been respected. We also have a price above the 200 day moving average, which is a longer term um, trend. Anything above it is bullish, anything below it is long term bearish. Um, so this is interesting. Uh, although price declined 5%, um, it could decline a bit more and retest the breakout, which was previously resistance. Um, now I wanted to look at current price and go to the left. This is that wick over wick on the weekly chart that I was referring to. And there is, that is not a level of interest based on the price structure on the daily chart. All right, so I'm going to go further up to see if there's any levels of interest where there might be some sellers. And I don't see anything with the exception of another resistance level at the $23 uh, level. So you got resistance, 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 resistance. So although price dropped 5% today, um, everyone who wants to get in should be salivating. Um, now I'm expecting potentially more weakness. Um, I'm expecting another dollar drop. And that would be an opportunity to get long or to a dollar cost average but if price can sell off and retest this weekly bias level at ten dollars that's when you would back up the truck um, nevertheless the moving averages are now pointing up they're going to serve as dynamic support and as you can see price gap down but respected this 13 simple uh, moving average on the daily chart um, and formed a doji so price was off the lows of the day uh, be interested to see what happens tomorrow um, be nice technically if you have a further decline uh, what would be the fib find my tool Fib retracement. We'll do it from the weekly buyers level. So right now you are at the 61.8 retracement. 50% um, retracement lines up with that resistance support level. So this will be a good potential entry um, to go long. Let's see what happened. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Let's see what happens the remainder of the week. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.